Since when can you fly Harry? You're making me nervous. Come down here now. After my sweet 16 party last week I found out I was abducted. I'm really the daughter of Rich the Goddess of Chaos. That's crazy. It would explain the wings, but the cat ears. Come downstairs and we'll discuss this. I always wanted cat ears, it's an Kamimi thing. The gods are always with us as concepts. The more people think about any particular one the more they manifest in this space-time. So you think people create the gods? Then gods would behave like the people who create them. Wow, that almost makes sense. Sophisticated people like yourself recognize that Riss is a figurative symbol for an ineffable metaphysical reality. Can you prove that? Do you think you can teleport us to I don't know the bedroom? This isn't any bedroom you didn't specify, I guess let's make it your bedroom. That's better. Now tell me more about your mom like the original snub. You know the myth of the apple of discord. It seems that Zeus was preparing a wedding banquet for Pleus and Thetis and did not want to invite Riss because of her reputation as a troublemaker. He's made Riss angry, and so she fashioned an apple of pure gold and inscribed upon it Kalos to the prettiest one. And on the day of the fate she rolled it into the banquet hall and then left to be alone and joyously partake of a hot dog. Three of the invited goddesses, Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite. Each immediately claimed that to belong to herself because of the inscription. And they started fighting, and they started throwing punch all over the place and everything. Finally Zeus calmed things down and declared that an arbitrator must be selected, which was a reasonable suggestion, and all agreed. He sent them to a shepherd of Troy. Whose name was Paris, because his mother had had a lot of gall and had married a Frenchman. But each of the sneaky goddesses tried to outwit the others by going early. And offering a bribe to Paris. Athena offered him heroic war victories, Hera offered him great wealth, and Aphrodite offered him the most beautiful woman on earth. Being a healthy young Trojan lad, Paris promptly accepted Aphrodite's bribe and she got the apple and he got screwed. That was fun, here's your favorite toy. You still cat about, don't you? Meow man you are. Purr. Like that. You like pussy cats. So you're really the same Harry I've always known. Just with two wings in four years. I guess but could the old Harry do this? Creep ass sleep ass lazuli. I let you see my world now. Where's this? Wait, didn't you tell me about a dream you had like this? More familiar surroundings like our old classroom. We still have a lot to cover about the Perthio and Metamastic Q the Vris Esoteric. I'll use a love spell to keep you attentive. Yes my love. What else do I need to know? You can tell me anything, and I'll still be hopelessly devoted. On the fifth night, after the party I had a vivid dream of a splendid woman whose eyes were as soft as a feather and as deep as eternity itself. Then what happened Ari, my dearest? Did she speak to you? Her body was a spectacular dance of atoms, universes. Pyrotechnics of pure energy was her flowing hair, and rainbows manifested dissolved as she spoke in a warm and gentle voice. I have come to tell you that you are free. Many ages ago, my consciousness left man, that he might develop himself. I returned to find this development approaching completion, but hindered by fear and by misunderstanding you have built for yourself psychic suits of emery, and clad in them, your vision is restricted. Your movements are clumsy and painful, your skin bruised, your spirit broiled in the sun. I'm chaos. I'm the substance from which your artists and scientists build rhythms. I'm the spirit with which your children and clowns life in happy anarchy. I'm chaos. I'm alive, and I tell you that you are free. And then she was gone, but she left this little statue that follows me everywhere. Let me slip into something more comfy. What now? Where do you go? Oh there are. I guess that's normal for you now. Now I want a ball. No. You're being hentity. This kind my fave toy. Same old area after all. Wanna make that again like old times? You look real hot right about now. For sure. I'm always up for a snack with you. We can talk about more stuff later. Less speech, more reach. <laughs>